Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome to today's Caffeine for the Soul. And the the title for this particular episode comes from something I heard my my colleague Mara Gleason Olson say, and and she talked about the paper thin nature of thought. Now I I don't actually remember much else of what she said in the in in the in the in the context where I where I heard that I don't actually even remember the context where I heard her say it, but that phrase really stuck with me because it 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 expressed beautifully the human dilemma, which is that we live in a world of thought, but the nature of consciousness is that our thoughts appear to be real. So we think we're living in a real world, but that real world is actually made of thought. And the nature of thought is it's paper thin. No matter how real it seems, it doesn't take anything to, to get through it. But we, we sort of don't try. We, we stop. We, it doesn't occur to us to push against the wall because the wall looks so real. It looks so solid. It doesn't look like it's made of thought. It looks like it is made of reality. And the thing about thought is thought doesn't have the power to stop you. Right? Thought can't do anything to you. Thought is just a phenomenon that happens inside you. And part of the nature of thought is it appears real, so it seems like it could maybe stop you. And and something else, actually, I do remember something else from from, from that, uh, I think it was a podcast I was listening to with Mara, and, and, and she talked about something she'd heard about matter, that, 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 Matter, if you think of E equals mc squared, right? Energy and matter are related, right? The idea is that all things are made of energy, and, and that's really the essence of, of transformative coaching, of, of the work that I do, is that all things are made of life. All things are made of this one energy, and energy can neither be created nor destroyed. It can just change forms. It can transform. So your reality can transform but what it's made of doesn't change at all. And, and the thing that, uh, that Mara said, that's, that she heard somebody say, was that things don't matter until you add matter to them. In other words, until you start giving weight to them. And then as soon as you give weight to things, they start to weigh you down. And, and that's something that I'm sure you've got experiences of, where... You, you start out being excited about something, and then it starts to matter. Then you start to really care. Then you start to kind of go, and this has to happen because, and if this doesn't happen, oh no, and if this did happen, ooh. And it starts getting heavy, and you start feeling weighed down, and you either slog on or you give up. And yet, you're not up against a real obstacle. You're up against the paper-thin but deceptively solid-looking nature of thought. Thought doesn't look like thinking. Thought looks like reality. And when you see something about that, it gives you a kind of a freedom of mind. It, it, it gives you a, a, a kind of ease, a kind of willingness to allow things to be up for grabs, even if you've thought they were true your entire life. And, and there's no place where this is more obvious than the things we think about ourselves. If I think I'm shy, if I think I'm bad at math or bad at selling or bad at relationships or bad at love, then as long as that looks real to me, I'm not even going to push against the edges. I'm going to try to learn how to navigate in a world where I'm bad at love, bad at math, bad at this. Given that I'm bad at this, that I'm not this kind of person, that I'm the kind of person who, how do I? But if nothing was a given, 
if everything was up for grabs, then you'd find that nothing is just the way it is. It's just the way we think it. And that when thought changes, reality changes too. And I think this may also have been from um, another conversation I had with Mara. And Mara, thank you for giving me today's podcast. <laughs> I'm sorry, if I knew the original one, I would, I would share it with people. But, but what I remember from it was this notion that, that, that the, the kind of reality we deal with on a daily basis are just like sandcastles that we treat as real. So it's like if you made this whole thing out of sand, this whole village out of sand, and then tried to navigate it, you made these obstacles out of sand. Well, if you understand they're made of sand, you don't have to worry about the form of the daily sandcastles because you know that the tide's going to come in and is going to wash them away, and you can create something completely new in the next moment, the next day. So there's something about seeing the paper-thin nature of thought that allows us to navigate with so much more freedom in the world. And there's something about seeing that thought doesn't have the power to stop us and that things don't matter until we add matter to them that lets us live with a kind of a lightness and ease that makes most things in life kind of fun. So have fun learn heaps, and I'll talk with you soon.